With the name Snakehead or Frankenfish, you know it's a monster. A British Columbia man says he spotted one in a lagoon near Vancouver. If he is right, that's not good. The fish is native to China. It's highly invasive and has been known to wipe out native fish stocks in parts of the U.S. We asked Chris Brown to wade into the story for us. But beneath the surface lies a deadly danger. Such is the horror inspired by the snakehead fish. If a breeding pair gets out of this lake and into the river system, there'll be no stopping them. Ironically, that bee movie was shot at Cultus Lake, not far from Vancouver. And now it seems a real-life snakehead has turned up right next door in a Burnaby pond. I saw the fish right here where these branches are uh, dipping into the water. It was just there in the water. You couldn't see the teeth. It was just lying still, enjoying the sun. Rod Gonzalez recognized the snakehead's telltale black spots and knew having one turn up here could be a huge problem, so he took a video of it. The snakehead is a voracious predator and will eat almost anything it can fit into its oversized mouth. Incredibly, the fish can even breathe air for a short time and slither on land, a skill it uses to move from pond to pond. They get up to about three feet and they can't take something down large. I would say they could probably take down a, a, a baby duck, a duckling. In other words, even rodents and small pets aren't safe from the snakehead fish. They're native to China, and while importing them is banned in many parts of the U.S., they can be legally imported to Canada, where some people eat them as a delicacy. We visited a couple of live seafood stores in Vancouver's Chinatown. Do you have snakehead fish here? And it didn't take long to find a whole tank full. That's a snakehead fish? Yes. Is it good? Yeah. Is it popular? Yeah, popular. But the suspicion is someone released at least one into that pond. So now the BC government is hunting for it. We are putting a plan together that we get out there in the next couple of days and, and look for the fish. Where are, the fish, are these fish in there? How wide are they spread? Maybe I just really locked out and seeing it twice in a day. Maybe we better not stand so close. Uh, no, <laughs> I, th I think we're OK. The Burnaby snakehead is about half a meter long, likely not mature enough to spawn, but big enough to suggest it survived at least one winter and is liking its new home. Chris Brown, CBC News, Burnaby.